Here we see human beings in their natural habitat, surrounded by their friends and family. They are connected and move simultaneously. Suddenly something happens. Our human being is disconnected, ripped out of his natural environment. A typical situation in which this occurs is when someone has an eating disorder. But why is this the reason that you disconnect with your social environment? What is happening? Well, you can compare it with having socks. First you have two socks and you're perfectly in balance. One sock you can compare with your emotions, the other one with your common sense. Then you decide to do the laundry. Then one sock is lost. It's very frustrating because you know the sock can't be gone, but you just can't find it. You try to replace the lost sock, but it's just not right. You have lost your balance. Because you're struggling with the situation within yourself, you forget to look around you to see if there's something what can help you. Something what can hold you. What can strengthen you. Gives you a ground to build upon. Makes you feel normal. Something what can distract you in difficult situations. But most of all, Something what can give you the motivation to beat the eating disorder. So what is this magic tool what prevents me from falling into the endless hole of this disease? It's simple. It's all in your network. You already have it. You only have to use it. Yeah, very nice. But I'm still lonely. Are you sure? You see, it's time to give people with an eating disorder some help to make them aware of their network and to let them experience it is the most powerful weapon they possibly can use in the fight against an eating disorder.